G'day guys, my name is Shane. I play Deep as Surprise. Today I'm going to show you how I got 2 million with Penta, which isn't easy to do. Uh, basically, it's a matter of survival. So what happened here is the reason why I went Penta is because I went to Overlord and unsuspecting came across a pro overlord which is adventure time I'm um, pro penta sorry um, we have history and he doesn't like me very much so he's gonna do everything he can to kill me which he does so what you should do and learn from this is how to one way to use a penta so firstly he's coming as close as he can and as soon as he sees my drones he backs away. Very smart, my drones can't come close to him. I try and surprise him multiple times, but he's too smart for that. So in the rest of the video, you're sh you're, I'm not going to show you all my kills and all that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is a little bit boring, but what I'm going to show you is how you kind of survive in times when times are tough and that makes the difference between maybe a 500,000 score and a 1 million score is how to survive and of course you have to have a bit of luck with the right kind of server Here he is, annoying me. But in the end, I basically kind of give up because he was never going to give up. I was hoping someone would come along and distract him, but that didn't happen. I'm trying to keep, keep drones above and on one side and then bring them together at the same time so we can't shoot them. I'm able to do it on this occasion. So I'm um, holding. So no bullets hit me, so I can regenerate and then start another attack. I'm trying to get them around, but it's too good for that. So I'm going to dodge bullets at the same time. Of other players makes it fun actually, it makes it interesting. That's why we play deep. Go away. Please go away. Being up towards the corner and he can beat me there he's running high speed but when he runs high speed like he has you have a little less you'll have no health so if he is trapped then he's gonna die so this didn't work he's moving around smart player so yes this is lesson one on how to do well with Penta against the overlord at least he normally mains auto 5, he's very good with that. And he, after I do kill him, well, I actually don't kill him. After he dies, he comes back as an auto 5. And, um, I was able to kill him just. This is him continuing to flail around. Yeah, very good play. Alright, I've chosen one body damage, full health, I mean full um, bullet stuff reload. I've gone with full bullet speed, it helps with the kills. Only four speed and one body damage. I really think that one health stat 
um, helps to helps you to survive really. Alright, shut away up against Penta. Now as you can see I'm turning around. That's for two reasons. The main one in this situation is one you get a bit more speed when you've got bullets coming towards you or you think someone might be down there and it keeps just some bullets in front of you to kind of protect you. So I want to move a bit quicker but protect myself as well so you, you see that more often as I'm so I'm shaking moving left to right as I'm as I'm shooting and it, otherwise you get a gap in your bullets and people can dodge it. And here he is. Adventure time, he changed his name. Something about hack it, why don't you hack or something? And he's always come up come up with interesting name changes when I've played against him, if I kill him. Generally we both die at different times. That's what happens when you play against good players. But I think he rage quit after this. So he didn't continue to bother me to my knowledge and might have changed his name. He didn't continue to bother me with my Tend to run. A bit later in the video, I'm going to talk about witch hunters because um, I did have some witch hunters up to me. Um, one of those witch hunters I was actually talking to on Discord at the same time as playing, and he told me he was going to kill me. But thankfully, he had to go and he couldn't finish the job. And that was Lucifer, otherwise known as Kwahaku, or Tay Tay. And Poseidon, he's running as a name at the moment. He got a me in with uh, an eye later the other day. He's had me with Overlord, and very good player. And he enjoys killing other good players. So if you see someone with a someone with a 800k war, it's his job to kill them. And not only him, many other people. And the person who actually killed me in the end, their name was Satan. And I killed them I don't know how many times, but he keeps coming back time and time again. And eventually, he got me. And he's not as good a player as... Lucifer, but good enough to kill me in the end when he chose the anti penta tank, which is basically a auto gunner. There is that weapon there. If you want to kill Penta, that's very good. So I'm running away and trying to shoot at the same time, keeping out of trouble. Yeah, it's very powerful. I'm just showing different times. They're pretty short intervals. Where I've come up against this type of style of tank. Saying some kind of swear word, okay. F is kind of... So he, yeah, he should be should die out of like swearing. Names that could be little kids playing. Die, 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 die. I sometimes say that and I'm nearly about to kill someone, but they're being. There's Lucifer. And there's Lucifer again. He's trying a few different tanks. And he could have got me here, but I was able to. I keep moving. Keep moving left, right, left, right. When I play in Maze, I play a zero bullet speed with if I play Penta. Here he goes. And luckily, I reacted just in time to back away. And he wasn't able to get the kill. Now, a true witch hunter, they don't care if they die. 
they'll just respawn and they're good enough to level up quickly and go again. So a good Winch Hunter always gets the gets the man. They always I nearly died here. Lucky. And good management. So he's Satan, he's coming in for the kill, but he's made the mistake of kept coming when I'm going backwards. He's never gonna get the kill. He needs to surprise me. If he wants to be an annihilator. So yeah, a good witch hunter always gets a, gets a kill because he's Satan again. I don't think it's Lucifer, I think it's a different player. Because he went off Discord, I had to go and ah, I believe him. He's quite proud of his witch hunting skills and he'll do it um, while talking with him. I got one me in with Overlord, which he came and nearly killed me. And luckily, I was able to get the me in before he shucked all his drones near me, and the Guardian ended up finishing me off along with other bullets. It's Potato McGee tries quite a few times. So yeah, a lot of the pro players don't like witch hunters, and it makes it nearly impossible to get very good scores. Um, I kind of have the philosophy now, um, when I'm playing, is if I'm going to say to FFA and there's someone on a good score, it's fair game. Because I'm going to FFA, but if I read about it, someone tells me someone's on a high score, it's, it's not the done thing to just go and kill somebody. But if I'm in FFA, it's, it's a fair game. And I'm going there anyway and by accident. But it's not good sportsmanship to spoil someone's good score, which I have done before and feel bad about. Then I'm here having another go. So basically, you have to look all around you when you're any tank. You see bullets coming from all different directions. And that's kind of how you survive. Godzilla's coming and it really messed me up here. Because boom, he comes and I wasn't expecting that. And then you get a sniper coming at the same time. Which I'm heading towards. But I survived that one. And without that evasive skills, I suppose, or luck, I would never have got two million score. But when you do start to get a good score, you do notice more and more witch, witch hunters coming. Um, and it makes it near impossible to get a good score. But I was lucky to get pretty good score before they get taken down, which I do right in about five seconds. And, well, thank you for watching my video on Penta. And maybe you learned something. Maybe not. But not so easy. That's actually the first time I've ever tried to get a good score with Penta, so maybe it is easy. But, ah. Playing Penta. I nearly fell asleep several times. Alright, thanks for watching. There you go, Satan. Good job. Later.